The Seattle Police Department is apparently dealing with the morale problem right now. It's the latest findings from an internal survey made public by Crosscut Magazine. That's right. King 5 Sebastian Robertson joins us with more on that issue that's impacting what's the largest department in the state. And I have to say, I don't know if you heard Michael's story, but, you know, the man arrested for that stabbing, he's been arrested more than 20 times. But then the police are called in to, in front of the council yeah. to address it. Yeah, you can, it's no wonder they're unhappy. And you'll never hear an on-duty police officer complain about that. And that's why it's so interesting to get these officers under the condition of anonymity. Uh, and keep in mind, it's just 76 officers, but it is enough to be statistically relevant. They spoke out, and a retired police sergeant I spoke to who was on the job as recently as six months ago says their words speak volumes. Well, we hear it. Former yeah. Seattle police officer Rich O'Neill is free to speak his mind. One of the perks of retirement. I think it's very valid that there are officers that are feeling very frustrated. In his 38 years on the force, he's seen the department and city change substantially. Simply put, today there are more people, more crime, and less officers. The department is currently struggling with both recruiting qualified officers and retaining them once they're hired. The facts are that the officers, we have very few out there and they are working a lot of overtime to try to keep up, working emphasis shifts, and after a while you just, uh, you know, you get burned out from working. To tackle this issue, the mayor's office teamed up with Seattle Police to identify the issues facing the department. They formed a recruitment and retention workforce. In a survey distributed by the work group to 76 current officers, only 10 said they would refer friends or family to work for the department. One even responding, hell no. The answers to the internal survey were obtained and published by Crosscut.com. All anyone would have to do is, is talk to an officer on the street, uh, walk through a precinct, talk to roll call, and you'll, you'll see that there are much more than just 100 that feel very frustrated. A department of 1,300 officers that recently became the highest paid in the state. Let's go get more. All right. yeah. Back in March, the mayor approved an incentive to recruit new officers up to a $15,000 bonus for experienced officers transferring from other departments. It isn't just an SPD issue, it is a nationwide issue. O'Neill and the city may agree on one point. This isn't just a Seattle problem. Many major cities are having a hard time holding on to officers. Qualified men and women who are often taking jobs in neighboring departments. So the results are out there. What happens now? Well, a spokesperson from the mayor's office says they'll take these responses into account. They're not going to spend the next month testing, refining ideas to improve officer retention and increase recruitment. Final recommendations on the next step will be documented in a report as early as this fall. This has been a big ongoing issue, not just for Seattle, but other major cities hiring good officers and maybe just as important, keeping them. Mm. All right, Sebastian, thank you.